So, yeah, okay, so um, now let's start talking, I guess, about Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, it, it's So it starts out sort of like a normal high school visual novel dating sim. Slice and it, of life. Slice style. of life little, like, yeah, do, like, yeah, slice of life manga little cutesy high school story. You're a boy uh, who is being convinced by his female friend to join her high school club which is a literature club and you show up and you're like oh my gosh (laughs) it's all cute girls maybe this won't be so bad um and then things get weird uh things get bad bad. um but so the interesting it it starts out just as sort of tropey as possible oh completely it there's almost not an like an original like (laughs) worthwhile piece of dialogue for the first hour or so. Like, it's hard to get through. You, 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 <laughs> can, you can expect absolutely every line. Like, every line that follows every line is like, yep, that, yep. <laughs> I will say something, though, and, and it's great how this sort of comes back around, mm-hmm. is it's it's super tropey and, and expected, but none of the characters are all that likable. Oh, n- and that was yeah. the hardest part for me. I could not stand any of them. And <laughs> I know it's terrible, and it's and it's like on purpose. Yeah. it's super on purpose, and I I really appreciated how later it was even like explicitly stated. Um, but yeah, so you've got you've got your sort of. Four different types of girl. Yeah. <laughs> Your four flavors of girl. You've got, you've got, yeah. But see, but that's what it's yeah. like. That's what it's about. Yeah, they're, they're very one you know, note. that's yeah. the sort of, that's what the critique is. I mean, like, it's, oh, God, this is so good. I love it. It's so good. So you've got your your best friend who's the vice president of the club, and she's all silly and bubbly and clumsy, and she's the goofy sort of, like, cutie pie yeah but even right off the bat your your character begins to suspect like maybe a lot of this is an act and like she's smarter than she seems and yeah there she has untold depth yeah like maybe she's cutesy because it's disarming and like Mm -hmm. and it gets her what she wants yeah or you know she but but i don't know that i mean i don't think that the character thinks about it in maybe that mercenary of a way. No. I don't it think so. the, it just it's There's it's... just that that scene when she's convincing him to go to yeah. the club. He's yeah. like, "Did you plan this? Like, <laughs> yeah. hang on." Yeah. Um then you've got the uh the sort of um the the pretty shy elegant sort of girl with the very embarrassed of her own self and she's got the big boobs because somebody's <laughs> got to have the big boobs mm-hmm. um you've got the classic sundere type sundere lolly sundere lolly she's the little pink haired girl who's like baka and you know it's not like I like you or anything sort of <laughs> I didn't make these cupcakes just for you. Baka. Baka. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, that sort of type. Very popular in these kinds of things. And then our fourth girl, Monica. She's the president of the club. She's the coolest and prettiest girl in school. She's the fourth member of the, the DK fourth, crew. <laughs> the DK crew. Uh, now, the first sign that something sort of different's going on is when you first start the mini game. Of writing poems. Of writing poems, which for your literature for your club. for the literature club, which is yeah, I don't think that it, I don't think it does anything. Well, <laughs> I, don't I mean, it, it does, does register. I don't think when that you, there's when you click a word that one of them will like, they jump. The little little cute avatar does. They'll yeah, hop up sure, and, down. and and that's some sort of that's a sort of a feedback to like indicate that something is happening and that you're like, do, but I don't know that it actually has any impact on anything that happens in the game. It, I, from what I experienced, um, I accidentally chose more of the words that I don't even remember their names, but the the dark haired one, yeah. Sayori is our friend. Uh, is she the one that you accidentally picked? No, I think it was the 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 moody dark haired. Not. Oh, oh the um she, y- Yuri. Yuri. Yeah, she's the one I always have trouble remembering her name. Um, uh, I picked more words that she liked, and so 
I think I think it probably just like extends the conversation day two and day three with them. If yeah. anything, like because the other ones were when just you're like, sharing oh, your, your poems, your poem was neat. And the other ones were like, oh, my goodness, it's exactly like how I, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it, it yeah. may have some impact on conversations on that are had, but it doesn't have any no, impact yeah. on yeah. the way the game plays out. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, we were just picking at random at a certain point because we're just like, just get through it, just get through it, just get through it. <laughs> I was trying to be so um, methodical. I was like, I'm going to write the best poem. And then yeah. the, the words that I liked the most, I was like, I don't like that girl, though. I don't want to make her happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We ended up preferring Sayori, but I think the game sort of leads you down that path. Yeah. Because it's like, he's like, oh, you two are just so alike, and you guys just care about each other so much, don't you? And so the game just sort of leads you into liking her, mm-hmm. um, super intentionally, I think. Uh, but the interesting thing is, when you're writing your poem, Monica is not a considered Which girl. I was upset about because she was the only one I could stand. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> so And something something interesting to note uh is very commonly in uh the like uh I wanna say fan base, but that's not the exact word I'm looking for. Uh like the cultures around one specific visual novel, you'll have people, you know, debating who's the best girl, what's which Yeah like which Wait, one who's did your you waifu? Pick? Yeah, who's your waifu? Which one did you pick first and who did you pick last? Like which one did you like the bestest and all that? Yeah, sort of ranking that, these yeah, people. That's that's a very common uh discussion that's had around visual novels. And one thing that always comes up is if there's even if there's any girl, no matter how ridiculous it would be for her to be a romantic option uh, Somebody if, wants if, her. If, yeah, if there's someone that you can't yeah. romance, people will be like, like she's the best girl. <laughs> she's the she's the one that I want. It's the and unattainable. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, if it's like a high school dating sim and you can't romance the teacher, but she's a girl or whatever, people will be like, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be able to romance her. She's the one I want. It's like, you're 12. <laughs> 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 um, uh, but I think that having Monica be that, uh, like unattainable unattainable option option is Mm -hmm. also intentional and skew like if you are a proponent of if you're a big fan of visual novels she would stand out Mm -hmm. a lot more in that way when you go to the mini game and it's like wait where's monica Uh uh-huh well and then in the in sort of the early half of the game she definitely stands out as being sort of the most palatable person around like everyone else sort of acts like she's rude and and not extreme, Unlikeable. and has more than one personality. Yeah, she's just like generally pleasant. <laughs> Whereas the other ones are, <laughs> are so like I, I don't know. Again, I, one note and very like harsh in their own personality, like just turned up to eleven. Yep. Yeah, I mean, and like exactly with Sayuri, she's just like too ridiculous to be believed. And then like Yuri and um, well, I can't think of the Natsuki, Natsuki have that awful mm-hmm. argument, and it's just yeah. like I don't like any of you. And then Monica's just there, like, "Hi, wow, thanks for being here." <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, she's nice. I don't have any yeah, reason exactly. to object to her." Mm-hmm. Um, so you get back to the literature club and you share your poem and. Then they share their poems, and this is the first time that I thought of you, Alex. I was like, "Oh, there's poetry, like real stuff yeah, in yeah. this," and it's I actually, good. I kind of like a lot of the poetry. Like, it's really interesting well, they do stuff. Do a really good job of um, um, not only at least uh, basically explaining the different like, mo- like not moods, but like different types of poetry. You know, I mean, they're you can, mm-hmm. they they all have very different styles, and it's kind of interesting to sort of see like. And they explain it to themselves. They're like, oh, it's still good, even if it's different. And I actually liked that a lot. Yeah. Even though I use really short, cute words, it's still I mean a punch. something else. Yeah. yeah. That kind of, yeah. So that, I just thought, I thought that was really cool. And I was like, kind of impressed with the poetry. I was like, oh, this yeah. is actually like great. <laughs> I, I'm really enjoying this. And I think that it's adding something really interesting to the game. Um, and, and it's where you first start to get the idea that something yeah. else is going on. Because you like one of Monica's early poems, you're like, "What's this now?" <laughs> like it's a little alarming and weird, and you're like, "What are you talking about, Monica? Like, what is this? This is not what I would have expected from you, and I'm not sure what you mean." Yeah, even the very first poems that you read, like from Natsuki, like that little, the short little po- poem 
that about oh yeah all like the birds, can, fly birds can fly and, and monkeys can climb and blah 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 and yeah hu- humans can try but that's it yeah um even that like the very very first poem is like oh like that's you're you're you, thinking about there's stuff something too, yeah yeah um Okay, so we don't need to go through every minute detail of how this plays out. Um, but you start getting certain sort of inklings that Mo- there's something weird going on with Monica. <laughs> because she shows up late one day, and she's like, sorry, I was in study hall. I guess I didn't hear the bell. And they were like, they're like, what? You didn't hear the bell? Uh that's weird. And she's like, well, I guess because was, I was playing piano. And they're like, you're learning piano? Wow, I didn't know that. And it's like, wait a second. I thought you were in study mm-hmm. hall. How were you playing piano? This doesn't add up. You're lying, Monica. What's going on? Um, flash forward. Uh, Sayuri is having a hard time, and you're like, but Sayuri, you're such a happy person. Turns out she's incredibly depressed. Did you confess your love for Sayuri, or did you confess your friendship for Sayuri, Alex? Friendship. Friendship. <laughs> Friendship, we confessed love, we but did. I don't think it makes it... Okay, so what happens when you say that? Because we didn't do that. She's a little uh, embarrassed, and by a little, I mean very embarrassed. <laughs> uh-huh. Because I thought it was super interesting. So this is when I was like, okay, there is something, like, serious. To- I mean, I knew that this... I-, I had already known by its reputation that this game was, like, something unique and special, but... When Sairi's talking about her depression and being like, you know, I just don't want anyone to know because I'm not worth caring about. So I just act happy so that nobody worries and so they don't waste their time on me. And I'm like, hot damn, that's too real. <laughs> like, I, I, I kind of was shocked at how authentic and, and nuanced of a portrayal of depression she was actually given. Well, especially, especially um, in contrast I, to, like, how vapid it is until then. Yeah, it's such a superficial game up until that point, and then you're like, "Oh gosh, this is like really thoughtful." Um, yeah, if you if you say to Sire that you love her, she's like, "Okay, why am I still like, I still feel awful?" And when you say that, I feel awful, and this hurts, and I and I'm not happy, and this isn't right, and this isn't how it's supposed to be, and it's like it's so real. And the player character actually makes me really angry. I can't hold it against him necessarily because he's just a child and he doesn't know and he just cares and wants to, you know, wants his friend to feel better. But he's like, you know, saying like, you know, don't, I'll, I'll, I'm here for you. I know best for you. So don't worry about it. Okay. And it's like, you, you don't though. You don't know what's going on. But I was really impressed with her, the game being like, yeah, this, just because somebody loves you doesn't mean your depression is going to go away and it might make Mm -hmm. it harder. Like, there are a lot of ways. And, you know, just being loved by the person that you love isn't enough to cure you. Like, she's still depressed and hurting and she it doesn't Mm -hmm. make her better. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, I mean, that's really tragic, but it's a really... um, Real? Yeah, it's fascinatingly real. Um, so the next day, Sayuri kills herself. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, and... You go to check on her, and, uh, you open, you end up going into her house, and you go to her room, and you open the door, and she's hung herself, and... And you're like, and it's just, like, the craziest moment, because, like, that does not belong in a visual novel. Yep. Like, that, that's the, f- I mean, like, this depression stuff is, like crazy but it's not you know like maybe yeah. maybe that could be in yeah, another no, that's, visual novel that's definitely like they they get real heavy and real they get, do they get re- i don't know i guess my my experience is not extraordinarily broad with visual novels but yeah. it, i i was just impressed with any piece of media really approaching depression in such a nuanced way uh if anyone's played katawa shoujo or cripple girls uh <laughs> great title not no nah. not a not title. a great translation <laughs> not a it's which it's funny because uh it was actually made by people from 4chan's video game board um uh so it was made by i don't remember if they were american or german but they weren't japanese um and it was made entirely by a team of people from 4chan um, and it's not horrible <laughs> for something that came out of 4chan. It's it's quite respectful and nuanced. It's windy as fuck outside. Uh, yeah, I know, Alex. Can you hear in the microphone this wind? 
I, 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 I can hear the wind. It was like that this morning here, too, so it must be... Yeah. Uh, Moving south? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Whooshing. Uh... Yeah, I, I really didn't know much about Katawa Shoujo. Um, mm-hmm. I'm glad to know that it's reasonably respectful. It is, yeah. I would say there's a character, Emmy, uh, who does not have legs, um, and she has a lot in common with Sayori, including a twist near the end where she's like, I'm I'm just so bubbly and happy because I... I I don't want anyone to know that I'm hurting. I don't want anyone hurting. to know that, yeah, like, I don't want anyone to care. Like, <laughs> oh. Because everything is, will be fine if I just smile, like. Yeah, that's Sayori. Yeah. Um, but the fascinating thing is, so, you walk in to Sayori's room, and she's hanged herself, and you get an end screen. And you're like, what? And Monica mm-hmm. had been acting sort of weird and nonchalant that morning and you're like what's going on and you you know you come up on Sayori you get an end screen and you're taken back to the main menu but it's a little bit weird like it's a little bit wrong yeah and so on the main menu you've got the all four girls on the splash screen there and when you return after that brief ending you uh (laughs) Sayori is gone and replaced, and replaced with another picture of Monica. <laughs> with a very glitched picture of Monica. And you're like, um, and like that the like the new game new, button. Yeah, is new all... Ga- it's all glitchy. You, so you and you go to play it, and the game starts as normal, except Sayori's not there, and there just wasn't a Sayori, and like you know things play out similarly, but as if Sayori was never there, and. <laughs> It just gets sort of weirder and weirder and weirder. That's when things start to pop off. I gotta say, like, the moment for me that was, like, the sort of defining moment of the game and sort of the craziest thing was when... um, Did you get the the conversation with um, Natsuki in the closet about manga? Um, I don't really remember. (laughs) That's okay. So, uh... You can get this conversation at that point where you're, like, looking for supplies and you go into the closet and, like, Natsuki's there, like, looking for a volume of her manga and you start talking to her about manga and things start getting weird. Things start getting really weird and wrong. Uh, Like, she's talking to you uh, about, like, oh, yeah, I just try not, you know, I don't really want everyone to know that I read manga, I don't think my family even knows. That's why I keep it in the closet at school. And then in this really weird, bold text, and while her face goes, like, crazy, she says, like, my dad would beat the shit out of me if he knew that I read manga. And it's like, what is this? And it's, like, very severely breaking tropes and, like, sort of crossing lines and just weird, weird, weird stuff starts happening um, you're finding out that, like, Yuri's weird and kinky and into, like, <laughs> knives and blood stuff, <laughs> and, well, like, mean, everything's... In her defense, <coughs> there was a lot of foreshadowing for her. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, she cuts herself, and, yeah, there was that weird... So did you get the, like, did you do the, um... Oh, yeah, when, uh, when, when you're, you're working... helping one of the girls, who did you end up helping? When Monica asks you, do you or are you gonna help um, Natsuki or or Yuri? Natsuki bake the cupcakes or Yuri make the decorations. Um, I just watched the playthrough like you said to do because. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. But which one did you see? Both of those yeah, or I think she'll, just she'll one? Both because it was showing all the weird stuff. Oh, okay. nice, cool. Yeah, I, I, you know, I meant to go and like check out some of the other paths. Um, but I didn't. Uh, so yeah, we 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 picked Yuri, and like weird stuff happens where you like cut yourself on her knife that she's like sharpening something with, and then she like licks the blood off your finger, and she's like, "I'm sorry, that was weird," and <laughs> and it's like, "What's going on with you?" Um, but yeah, things just start getting weirder and weirder. That same fight between Natsuki and Yuri plays out, except like a thousand times worse and like they're just saying awful things to each other and uh eventually you see um yuri cutting herself in the hallway because she was getting way too like excited about sitting next to you (laughs) 
it's really weird. And and then it's like and then Monica's like, whoops, you weren't supposed to see that. And it like rewinds and like mm-hmm. then Yuri is gone. Like she's deleted. And you're starting to get the idea that like Monica is controlling the game itself. Mm-hmm. And she's deleted Sayuri, and she's deleted Yuri, and then she deletes Natsuki, and like... <laughs> yeah, she she admits that she, she's been messing with the game, and she was like, maybe I took it too far. Things are getting pretty broken. And she's like, let me see if I can fix it. And a literal console command opens up on <laughs> the top left of the screen, and she begins typing in... Uh, code to change the fabric of reality. <laughs> so yeah, this is when things start going off the rails. Eventually, you're just like it's just you and not and and Monica, and you find out that so she's some. It's like as though she's become self aware, but she's still the game, yeah. and all that she craves is your affection, and so she's doing everything that she can to get it. Including, you know, ruining the game. Making Sayori kill herself. Yeah, making Sayori kill herself, deleting the other girls, making them behave. Like, And you find out from the very beginning, she was making them behave like un- in an unpleasant way so that you wouldn't like them. And still, she's like, but you still picked them. You still picked them. Why? I tried so hard to make you not like them. Um, so that's why they everyone is weird and unpleasant in the beginning of the game is because Monica made them that way um no guilty no pleasure guilty <laughs> let's try yeah. again what <laughs> that didn't work <laughs> no <laughs> no my guilty purse. <laughs> Let's try again, shall we? <sighs> I was just trying to get you to say it at the same time as me, and you weren't kind of. No, I was just going at my pace. <laughs> and then you, you, you we have to do it at the same pace. That's how it works. Okay. One, two, three.